Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Barry. Last time around we had... What? 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 Sounds like a... Sounds like a scene with David Tennant in it. Um... Whole lot of stuff happened. Uh... Sally was dealing with her ex. Uh... Barry was going to kill him. Didn't kill him. Talked to Gene about it. Told him the story in Afghanistan. And they both came to the understanding that they are... People who want to change. Even if they've done bad stuff, they want to change. Um, and Barry went to go uh, talk about this with Fuchs, but Loach got to him, and Loach, uh, instead of or just arresting him for killing Moss, uh, basically was like, hey, you're going to kill the man who's sleeping with my wife, my ex-wife. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. M my voice is shot. But we're going to get through this episode, so let's just jump right into this episode of Barry. Here we go. Oh, great. They're just playing. No music or anything, just Barry. Let's go. Do you have family out of state? Uh-huh. Do you mind me asking where? Chicago. Chicago. I love Chicago. Okay, so I have a car out there. I want you to drive to Chicago, and I need you to stay there for about a year. Now, I, I'm going to send you money. I'm going to send you money. It's just that... This isn't going to work. The guy... Oh, my, my God. Money. We're in a really weird place right now. He thinks I'm in here killing you. I'm not I'm calling an audible right now. I'm just letting you know, when we get out there, he might seem a little confused. I mean... Do you have a suitcase? I mean, this dude is high. He doesn't even care anymore. Hmm. It's Taekwondo. Hey, whose Taekwondo trophies are these? Hmm. Right on. Right on. Well, good for you, man. I'm sure they got Taekwondo in Chicago. So you go, whoa, look at that, you got medals too. Shit. He's got a lot of trophies, oh, man. Have a little fun game to see which ones win. Ah! Oh. Lured him into a false sense of security. And relight. Is it a blunt or is it a cigarette? It might just be a cigarette. Yeah, uh, hello? All right, Taekwondo Ultra Champion versus a Marine. Barry, you do have a gun, right? Oh, went for the throat. <laughs> no. This has been all one shot. Oh, now you're just hugging each other violently. Oh. They're just knocking everything over. Nope. Uh, into the bathroom. Oh. Oh, hang on. Let the camera pan back. Oh my god. There's so much stuff in here to to have collapse. Oh. I don't know if that was a good idea. Up. Oh god, he has nunchucks. Barry, just kill him. Ronnie, you're hurt, man. Your windpipe's bust. windpipe's uh. busted, man. See? Uh. Your windpipe's bu busted. <laughs> it's it it's already over, isn't it? Uh. 
I think you got him. Dad? Little girl. What are you doing? I know this looks bad. Don't do anything. Just leave, Barry. Girl. Oh, don't tell me she's a yeah, Taekwondo champ. Uh oh. I thought you were a dog. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Did we? Did did I miss something? Or? Ow! No, the beer! Oh! Yeah, don't fuck with Taekwondo people, man. Ow! Ow! Ah, shit. Ah! Uh. Ah! Fucking girl's intense, man! She... Okay, she gave up. Now she hopped the fence. What the fuck is happening? Jesus. Just leave. Just leave. For the love of God, just leave. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Lovely day. He's bleeding so much. Is it Fuchs? Yep. Okay, you do it? <sighs> yes. Is he dead? Just try it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. What the hell happened, huh? What do you want me to get? Needle and thread. Needle and thread. I understand. Because I'm dying. Yeah, needle and thread. Because I'm dying. Hmm. Oh, there you are. Well, you don't want to do this work anymore, Barry. I'm mean, killing a man. I understand that. It's kind of why we were put on this earth. We're the strong, the disposable, the killing the child. Jesus. Barry. I'm Sorry you had to go through that. No, no. She's still alive. Oh. I'm dying. I know you're in. You're I'm fine. fucking you're dying. Fine. You mean I'm fine? <laughs> you gotta go right, right <laughs> fucking now. I, I gotta go to the hospital. You got her. Oh, that's a trash can. No, right. That's a trash can. I'm gonna Boy, this is a shit show to the highest degree. Oh, my God. Go get her, Barry. I'm not killing a kid. Plus, I don't. I don't think she's of this world. <laughs> hey, I don't want to sound like a creep, but uh, you want to get in the car with me and my friend? I got coordinates. See right here. They, they look like they're not gonna. So don't, 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 don't go run away, dude. I'm a nice guy. What? <laughs> Did they specifically find like the world's greatest stunt child? Okay, now I get it. <laughs> Back we go. This is the weirdest episode of this show. Okay, she's not human. That's what I said. Yeah, hello. Else, I don't That's know what I told you. To. Oh, damn. Looks fucking snazzy. All right. That's good. All right, buddy. Buddy, wake up. Wake up. Hey. Hi. I stitched you up. You're all good. Oh, it hurts. I know. I know, but you should be good to go up on the roof. She's still up there. But he's lost so much blood. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I pull it up real slow. Ow. Real slow. Oh. That <sighs> looks good to me. No. Oh. That's it. That looks really good. Yeah. Oh! oh broke the stitches. Oh, what? I, I got something here to help. Oh! Hey, hang on. I 
can't, I can't deal with that. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be a little cold, but there you go. Oh, oh, yeah. What is that? Yeah, it's super glue. Super glue. There you go. Oh, filling up the hole. Oh, there it is. It's perfect. That's nice. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Up you go. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not killing her, man. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? You do it. Hank. Uh uh. I'm gonna call Hank. We're gonna set the whole thing up. Oh God! It's her! Wait. Hold on! Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Was it her? You heard that, right? You sure you heard something? I didn't hear anything. I heard something. I swear to God. Oh God! <laughs> the market so it's like an r-rated horror version of the three stooges that's what this is this is the most terrifying hilarious thing i've ever seen in my life ronnie He's still alive. Your daughter's fine. And Whoa! Come on. Come on, man. Don't be an asshole. What am I gonna fight in the fucking store? Oh my god, please fight in the store. This will be so funny. Chill. Calm down. Hey, hey, come on, guy. Come on. Come on. The Chicago deal is still on the table. Dude, give up on the Chicago deal. The guy out there, he's literally glued to the car. He can Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie? Ronnie, really, you're not, you're not at 100%, yeah. right? Just yeah, you, you don't really know where you're aiming. What? <laughs> He's stuck. Mary, you fucking idiot! What the? Oh, God, I gotta go! I, 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 no! Oh, no! Come on, man. Oh, God, Ronnie. Now his pants. Oh, I'm amazed these two can do anything at all. Ow, oh, and on his back. Oh god, oh god, please don't tell me the car's gonna start bursting Ronnie, through the window. Listen, oh! Loach! Stop! Shit! I no! Ah! Shit, what the fuck you doing? Loach! Jesus! Ah! Oh! No, Loach! No, I threw it through the face! Are they zombies? Is Loach okay? Oh! oh, the rest of the cops fucking run! He's dead. Oh! Well, I guess it does eliminate that problem. Alright, pay no attention. <clears throat> Let's 
Get out of here. Barry, buddy, we have to go. Don't. Oh. oh. Wow. Directed by Bill Hader. <coughs> okay. <laughs> that may have just been the greatest comedy of errors I've ever seen. <laughs> My god. That was so... <laughs> that was hilarious! Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> So in the last couple episodes when I was like, you know, they haven't really been doing, you know, funny stuff. They've been doing, you know, they, they've been doing a lot of serious stuff. There's been some jokes, sure. They, they, they knew. I feel like they knew. They, they heard me in 2019. And they were like, okay, we're going to put it all into this episode. We're putting all the comedy into this episode in particular. That was amazing. I feel like if you just wanted to, if you wanted to get anyone into this show, I mean, it's not like, I say that like it's hard to get people into this show. It's not. Just show them the first episode, obviously. But for, if there was ever a reason, like a real difficulty in getting someone into this show, just have them watch this episode and anyone would be hooked, you know? Now, everyone will be hooked from the first episode. Don't get me wrong. But this... Um, this was the funniest thing ever. Like, oh my god, that was so weird and funny. Ugh. Like, not really any real drama, I guess? I don't know how to describe it. All right, that was a horror movie and a comedy and an action comedy in one. I, honestly, I wish more horror movies were like this. Funny. I want... Actually, yeah. I wish horror movies were funny like this. Because this... I mean, let's face it. This was terrifying. But it was also hilarious. I think part of it, too, is just, like... It, it's... I mean... Half of it is the slapstick. And that's honestly what it is. That's why I said this, you know... This is basically a Three Stooges episode with an R rating. Oh, this... This was so good, you know? And the slapstick. And honestly, man, I miss slapstick, man. I miss slapstick. That was like a Tom and Jerry episode. Actually, that more than the Three Stooges, I think. This was a Tom and Jerry episode. This was a Tom and Jerry episode. Where, like, you know, like the dogs go vicious or something, you know? That was so weird and so funny. You know? And again, like, not much drama. I mean, no Sally. No, you know, no Hank. No Gene. No nothing. I mean, yeah, we had Loach and Fuchs, but like... But, I mean, it's like the two... I mean, the only way this would have been funnier is if Gene was involved in it. Then it really would have been the Three Stooges. But there's no way of writing Gene into this to where it makes sense, you know? Oh my god. <coughs> it's so amazing. I mean, I love... I mean, first off, Barry. Barry being Barry. Barry being Barry. He's, you know, he's not gonna actually kill the person. But... He is going to... He's, he's gonna He's gonna come up with a different plan. And that just spirals out of control... And I get, you know, we had this whole episode about Barry changing. Barry changing and, you know, being a better person and not being violent or and not killing people. But at the same time, man, how did you think this plan was going to work, you know? <clears throat> I love... I love that, that, like, Ronnie and Lily, like, never talk, you know? And here's a question. So... Isn't Lily Loach's daughter? Like, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hang on, my dog's getting up. It's about time that I feed my dog, and... Ugh, I can't do this in the afternoon again, but give me a sec. Anyway. Um, I, I love that they don't talk, but yeah, it's so... Is Lily... Isn't Lily Loach's daughter, though? 
Like, that's the thing. Like, that wouldn't have gone over well, I think. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe, I mean, maybe Lily was just uh, Ronnie's daughter and now uh, Loach's wife was dating him. Maybe that's it. I don't, I, I, it can't be, you know. I don't know, man. Loach is dead. You know, it's kind of weird that it's like, because that's the end of Loach's story now. And it's the end of this whole Janus thing, you know? But, like, to an extent, it, I feel like it didn't go anywhere. Like, no, it, it, I mean, it went here. To this weird Tom and Jerry episode. It's like if you crossed Tom and Jerry with John Wick, you know? That's what this episode was. <clears throat> Except, I mean, I love... I love that Barry is not a perfect fighter, you know? Like, you know, he's an assassin, yes, but he was also just a marine, you know? But he's not the ultimate warrior or anything like that, you know? And, you know, you have characters, I guess, like John Wick, but, I mean, John Wick is very different from Barry, to where it's like, you know, he's, he is kind of perfect. I mean, he takes hits, sure, but... A lot of times, I feel like when you have an assassin character, they're kind of a flawless fighter, you know? And Barry is anything but. He's good. He can put up a fight. I mean, hell, he was able to fight a Taekwondo champion with his marine training, but still. But that fight was great. I love these shots. There wasn't... Okay, now that I think about it, though, with all the shots throughout, and because they just start on just... Barry, no, you know, they don't play the theme music. Was there just no music in this entire episode? I don't think there was. I don't think there was any music in this episode. Man, I'm gonna have to rewatch this. I mean, the good news is I technically am going to rewatch this when I edit the video, you know? But my god, that may have been one of the funniest things ever, you know? I mean, and I mean, like, what. What was he going to do with Lily, too? Like, he went back in. He didn't just leave her there. And because of that, he incurred her feral wrath. That was terrifying. <clears throat> what? What What are they? I love... Uh, I love that. <laughs> I love, too, when Barry's like, she's not of this world. And he's like, not of this world. What the fuck are you talking about? And he goes... <laughs> She And I love this one shot. I love this one shot where she gets up, runs over, climbs up the tree, jumps onto the roof, and perches on the roof. And Fuchs is just standing there and he walks back. And he's like, she's not human. <laughs> it was amazing. I was like, this, this is going to be my favorite episode of the whole show. This was the funniest thing. You know... Okay, sometimes when I do these reactions, I will actually go seek out other reactions and see, you know, see how other people are watching it. I've, I haven't done that recently uh, too much with a lot of my series, either because, well, I, I don't know, just for reasons, I, I just haven't done that a lot recently. I am going to go find reactions to this episode. This, oh my god, is so funny. And it's terrifying, it's just, ugh. It's terrifying. And the slapstick. Like, genuine slapstick. Like, even just, you know... Uh, Fuchs, when he sees the fight happening in the store, he's like, oh, shit. And so he... I don't know how he reverses, you know, with both of his hands super glued. The dumbass. But I love... He backs up quickly, and it just pans with him, and he just hits a police car. It's like, no! No! No, this can't be happening, you know? Which I guess the police wouldn't suspect him, you know. To, to them, he's just, you know, another citizen. Another civilian that's caught in the middle of this. Oh my god. I love that Ronnie just wouldn't go down. That was hilarious. Ronnie just would not go down. First, it was the broken windpipe. And then... Loach shoots him, and he's he, through the face, and he still got back up. Oh, my God. And it was only once there were multiple bullets from the other officers. And that kick, Loach is dead. Loach is dead. Uh, and, there's even, and the slapstick, there was even slapstick with his wound. 
That was so. That was hilarious. It was t it was terrifying, but it was hilarious just seeing his wound like pop back open. Like even that was kind of slapsticky. Oh my god, that was so good. I was <laughs> she bites into Fuchs. And Barry's still like, I can't kill a child. I'm like, shoot her off my fucking face. And it was like, oh, you know, Fuchs, just do something. He's like, I can't. I've super glued my hands to the steering wheel. <laughs> just, uh, like, it's slapstick, verbal slapstick, fight slapstick, wound slapstick. Like, this episode, I swear to God. Y you know what it kind of reminds me of? Even though this is de it cannot be the same thing. It reminds me of in, it was this, I think, the third season of Breaking Bad? It's it's the third season of Breaking Bad when they have the fly episode, where it's all one set, basically, and it's just Walt and Jesse, you know? And that was their way of, like, saving budget. It kind of feels like that, because it's like, it feels like they were just like, oh, let's just do a slapstick episode, you know? We've got Barry and Fuchs, our two funniest characters. Obviously, we have to have Barry, but Fuchs is also hilarious. And, you know, let's just have a slapstick. But this this cannot have saved any money unless Henry Winkler is that damn expensive, you know? Like, this cannot have saved that much money because, uh, because they just, they, you know, they, they have the fight in the house. They have the fight in the car. They have the fight in the supermarket. Maybe it's not that much. I don't know. But, you know, you only have, like, four act or five actors. Barry, Fuchs, Loach, Ronnie, and Lily, and that's pretty much it, you know? But, I don't know. I don't know, like, that. it doesn't make sense that this would be to save money, but I don't know. I want to know what possessed them to make this episode. And whatever it was, I wish more things were possessed by this. Because this was hilarious. I absolutely love this episode, and I am absolutely going to go find reactions to it. Because... Oh my god, that was just amazing and funny. So, we started this with me being like, oh, my voice is shot, it's the end of the day, I'm tired. And that that just gave me, like, life. Like, that added five years to my life. That was so friggin' funny. Oh my god. You know, this, oh my god, I, I'll tell you right now, this is the episode that would make my dad laugh really hard. Just all of that slapstick, that, oh. You know, I've, I've kind of thought about, like, showing my parents Barry. I mean, when I get through all four seasons. But this might be the thing that convinces me. Which, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it's pretty easy to go through. They're only half-hour episodes. But, yeah. Okay. That's about all I can say. This might be my favorite episode of the whole show. It's just so funny. It's so funny. It was terrifying and funny. And I, honestly, I wish more horror movies were like this. I wish there were funny slapstick horror movies. Like, that would be amazing, you know? So, yeah. That is basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around any of those. There's a playlist with all of my Barry reactions as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.